Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to another love reading. Please keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, please feel free to check out your other placements. To the current situation, we have the Two of Swords. What is influencing or blocking the Two of Swords is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. What happened in the past? The Ace of Cups in reverse. What's on Virgo's mind is the Fool in reverse. Why is all this happening? The reason for the reading is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. What will Virgo experience in the near future will be the Nine of Pentacles. All right. Hmm. There could have been a breakup or a separation of some sort with the Ace of Cups and Reverse in the past or someone just suppressed their feelings or there could be someone who probably thought there was a potential of a relationship but they were, they're just doubting that there is no potential anymore. Someone could just be very depressed and upset. That's a lot of sadness, depression, all right? There was a lack of new beginning and love. Right now, Virgo, you're blocking your heart chakra. You're ignoring a situation, okay? Ignoring a situation that is a big, fat disappointment to you, okay? There is a situation here that you know that it's just not working out, okay? You're done waiting and it's just not improving. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is something that just did not, your efforts and labors, they just not come into fruition, okay? But you're not making a decision. You know you have to. You have to make a decision between two unpleasant choices with the two of swords. You're between a rock and a hard place, but you're just not making it right now. You're choosing not to make that decision because, you know, both the decisions are going to push you outside your comfort zone, okay? They're not, both are unpleasant choices and you're just scared. You don't know what to do. You're indecisive, but you definitely know something did not work out. Something was a disappointing situation. On your mind, you have the fool in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries. You're not taking a risk in a situation, okay? You could have, because you've been to hell and back, and now you're not taking a risk anymore. You don't want to take a risk with this person or in this situation. You're not taking that leap of faith. The reason for the reading, the reason why this is happening, because of the six of pentacles in reverse, someone was, this was a one-sided thing, okay? This is a very one-sided relationship that's going on. One person's investing, the other person's not, or there's just no equal give and take. There's an imbalance in the situation. To me, it feels more like one-sided, okay? However, in the near future, someone's going to be single. If this is a marriage, commitment, or a relationship, okay? someone's going to be single. Someone's going to be realizing their worth and value. Sorry, someone's going to be realizing their worth, their value, okay? They realize what they're... Um, what they are, they realize that they don't need to take shit from someone. If someone's not investing a connection, it's best that they leave, all right? So I see someone being single, independent, on their own in the coming future. Let's see the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's not taking action. Someone's losing passion in a connection, feeling pessimistic. There's a lot of inaction involved, okay? Someone's just losing the passion. The queen of wands usually is the go for it wife. She doesn't let shit, uh, let shit happen. She makes it happen. But out here, the queen of wands in reverse. She's very laid back right now. She's not really doing anything about it, okay? I think that's you because you are the two of swords. You're just not making a decision. You're choosing to ignore making that important decision. Could be because you're blocked or could be because of lack of information, okay? You just don't have enough information to make a decision or whatever. Apply for the Queen of Wands in reverse. Apply for the Queen of Wands in reverse. Apply for the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Someone's not taking action and someone's un being... There's another Queen here, so there could be two people involved here. Doesn't have to be. I mean, there could be two women involved here. Doesn't have to be. But this could be the energy of the same person. Or I feel out here, someone's not taking action. Someone's losing their passion. And at the same time, they're the queen of swords. They're in this no bullshit zone. Okay. Someone's in this. The queen of swords is a no bullshit queen. Okay. She's a no nonsense queen. If she doesn't like what she hears, she'll cut you off. Okay. So someone's going to have very straightforward communication. The queen of swords only wants the truth. 
If she doesn't get the truth, you're out. If she doesn't like what she hears, you're out. You lie, you're out. You're fake, you're out. You give her any bullshit, you're out. <laughs> yeah. And there's someone here who's just not taking action, okay? Someone's just not being forthcoming. Clap for the Queen of Swords here. Clap for the Queen of Swords here. What is this Queen of Swords? What is, what is this Queen of Swords? Clap for the Queen of Swords. Clap for the Queen of Swords. I love these cards, but they're a little heavy to shuffle. But I love them. Clap for the Queen of Swords. Clap for the Queen of Swords. Say again, more in action. You could be dealing with the Pisces, the hangman here. Someone's taking a minute, okay, to make a decision, all right? Someone's taking a minute to take a, to make a decision. Maybe the Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who's probably not taking action because they need some time. Or probably the Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who's given someone an ultimatum, okay? Like, I need to hear the truth or then you're out. And there's someone here who's the hangman, who's taking a minute, okay? Someone's, th this is a role of spiritual energy. Someone's probably meditating and there's someone here who's who's taking some time not doing anything before they make a decision. Okay, this is someone who's taking time, a well thought, they want to have a well thought out decision or plan of action. That's why they're not doing anything about it right now. Someone's just like on a pendulum, you know, the hangman. Clap for the hangman. Clap for the hangman. Clap for the hangman, please. Clap for the hangman. Clap for the hangman. Clap for the hangman. Yeah, and that's why things aren't moving forward. We have the chariot. You could be living at a distance from this person. But there's, a, I mean, uh, I feel things are not moving forward because A, inaction. B, someone's taking their time off. It's like an ultimatum given to this person, you know, like, you know, I told you what it is. That's why things are not moving forward. The chariot in reverse is some things that come to a complete halt, you know, like someone like how they screech the car and they just put their brakes on in the middle of nowhere. Something's not moving forward. There's... Someone's put on the brakes. They're just not moving forward. Or there's someone here who's trying too hard to push things through, you know. I have a feeling something's not moving forward because someone's taking their time. Maybe you guys are on a break with each other. Or someone's taking a break and giving it some time. But it's like, I'm not taking any action. I need to think about this. After the ultimatum that's been given to them. <laughs> Clive for the Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? What happened in the past? What is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? What is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? A card flipped out, right? Yeah. There was a breakup, a separation. There was a lack of new beginning in love or there was a lack of a renewal in a love situation, in uh, a connection or a marriage because three of pentacles in reverse because you guys could not come together to a decision, okay? You guys just cannot collaborate. You guys could not collaborate. You guys could not just build together, okay? The three of pentacles in reverse is someone who's just... This is one person doing all the work, okay? See, I get that one person doing all the work, one person putting on all the effort, the three of pentacles in reverse in the past, the six of pentacles in reverse as to why this reading is happening. So I feel there's only one person invested in this situation and that's the person who's the queen of swords, you know, and that's the person who's like, you know what, tell me what it is. Do you want to do this or not? I, I get that kind of a situation. Until then, there's going to be this halt. Things are not going to move because the person's taking their time. The hangman, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Clap at the three of pentacles in reverse. Clap at the three of pentacles in reverse. Get a card flip. Okay. Yeah. Someone had to pick a direction in the past. The two of wands is someone who needs to pick a direction. Okay. Someone who needed to make a very detached decision. Okay. Two of wands is like at a crossroads. It's someone who's very stagnant. Again, more stagnant energy, more indecisiveness. Okay. The two of wands could also be someone who's half in, half out. But with the three of pentacles in reverse, I feel this is someone who needed to make a decision. Like, do I want this or not? There's one person here who's waiting on a decision from the other person. And someone's taking their own sweet time. Clive for the two of... Oh, wait, oh, no. Clive for the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here as the current situation? Clive for the two of swords. Clive for the two of swords. Clive for the two of swords. Yeah, someone needs to make a decision about leaving someone, I feel. Or maybe it can be two ways. Either someone needs to make a decision if they want to be with someone or not, or if they're going to leave someone out in the cold. Or there's someone here who needs to make a decision because they're left out in the cold. Okay, They feel left out. They feel the other person's giving them the cold shoulder. They, they feel they're not getting uh, the emotional, um, the, the emotions. 
someone's not feeding into a connection, I feel, okay, with the two of swords, this is how someone feels, someone feels left out in the cold, someone feels they're missing a connection, that's why they need to make a decision, like, you know what, like, what's happening, you're not invested, you're leaving me out in the cold, you're not with me, you're not in this connection, what's happening, what's going on, fly for the five of pentacles, fly for the five of pentacles, fly for the five of pentacles, for the five of pentacles we have the king of cups in reverse could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio there's someone here who's just emotionally shut off okay or there's someone here who's going through a roller coaster of emotions right now their emotions are all over the place and that's why probably they're trapped in their head they're blocking their heart chakra they're just not being able to see things clearly because their emotions are not stabilized right now the king of cups in reverse usually is practically someone whose head and heart are in balance right now they're thinking from nowhere i think i think they're, they're absolutely there's an imbalance right now they're not being able to see things clearly clarify the uh, king of cups in reverse fly for the king of cups in reverse fly for the king of cups in reverse yeah someone's giving up they've given up already the nine of wands in reverse is the wounded warrior okay but when he's in the reverse when he's in the upright he's someone you know who's no matter how beat up he is he still wants to give something a second chance okay the nine of wands in reverse is someone who's completely giving up they're not being able to fight for something anymore you know it's someone who's like cannot push push forward anymore okay they're just wanting to give up or just they're tired of fighting okay probably that's why the king of cups in reverse this is someone who's emotionally shut down too and there's someone here who's feeling left out in the cold and they need to make a decision i'm guessing okay why is the seven of pentacles in reverse here why is the seven of pentacles in reverse influencing the situation Fly for the seven of pentacles in reverse Fly for the seven of pentacles in reverse Fly for the seven of pentacles Fly for the seven of pentacles in reverse. Because someone's seeing things clearly. Someone is seeing, okay, so someone needs to make a decision with the two of swords as the current situation. And what is influencing is because something was a big fat disappointment. Something did not work out. Something did not come into fruition. An investment, a long-term investment, or probably a marriage commitment that someone was extremely invested in. It just didn't turn out the way it had to be and now they see things clearly they see that it just did not work out the two of swords in reverse is someone who's seeing things clearly and making a decision so someone someone knows someone see the sees the situation for what it is and the other person is still to make a choice of whether they still want to continue or no try for the two of swords in reverse try for the two of swords in reverse try for the two of swords in reverse Yeah, but you have good memories with this person. This is a soulmate connection, okay? Whoever this person is, you've been with this person for a very long time. The Six of Cups is good memories, reminiscing the past. You had good memories with this person. You're missing the past. Probably that's why, and now you see things clearly and that's why it probably hurts. Or there could be someone here who's being indecisive. Because they have a good connection with this person, they have memories with this past. With the Six of Cups, you there could be children involved, okay? You could have children with this person or there could be children involved. And that's why there's a delay in making a decision. Six of Cups is a soulmate connection. Fly for the Six of Cups. Fly for the Six of Cups. Fly for the Six of Cups. Yeah, I, this card came out before also, but... It's just that this situation is getting nowhere. This relationship, this connection is getting just nowhere. Okay. Someone's like highly bored. Okay. They're bored. They're dissatisfied. They're just not very satisfied with this relationship. It's not fulfilling them completely. Okay. This could be someone, okay, who has a fear of rejection, but I'm not feeling that too much. I'm just feeling a lot of discontentment here. Like I'm not happy out here. I want to leave, you know. Like, it's like someone just saying, someone, if you're not happy, just leave. But they cannot because there's there's good memories out here, okay? Someone's feeling, finding it difficult to make a decision because they know if they leave, 
or they don't leave it, they're just very unpleasant choices not like they want to leave you know it's like you know what fuck you i hate you it's just that you know what it's just not working out i need to leave you know and if i stay i'm still not happy what do i do all right clarify the fool in reverse why is the fool in reverse here on virgo's mind clarify the fool in reverse clarify the fool in reverse You're holding back. You don't want to take a risk. You're holding back or you're holding on tightly to something. Could be this relationship, okay? Or could be uh, a conversation. One minute. Let me get one more card. Clarify for the Four of Pentacles. What is this person holding back or holding on to? Clarify for the Four of Pentacles. Clarify for the Four of Pentacles, please. One card, please. Clarify for the Four of Pentacles. Clarify for the Four of Pentacles. Clarify for the Four of Pentacles, please. Clarify for the Four of Pentacles. Someone still wants to gift it a situation, you know. That someone's not taking a risk. Maybe there's someone here who's not taking a risk. Like, I don't know what happens if I leave this situation or I don't know if I let this relationship go or this connection go. That's why they're holding on tightly. They still want to give in this situation. They still want to invest in this situation. There's someone here who's not, who's contemplating if they want to um, uh, give the situation another try. But there's someone definitely out here who wants to still give in to the situation. And that's why they're holding on very, very tight to this uh, uh, connection, marriage or whatever it is. The four of pentacles can also be someone who's holding on to their security. Maybe this marriage is a security to this person. And with the six of pentacles, it could be something which is very financial based. Maybe this person is struggling financially. Could be, uh, I, it could be a financial situation also that, you know what, someone cannot take a risk right now to leave the situation because they're very uh, financially uh, codependent on this person, dependent on this person. And that's where they're still having to give to the situation. Clive for the Six of Pentacles. What is the Six of Pentacles? What is the Six of Pentacles? <laughs> Both these cards had flipped before. Yeah, there's someone here who's showing a lot of patience. That's Temperance, that's Sagittarius. There's someone who's showing a lot of patience, a lot of cooperation. They're just like, okay, you know what? Let's try and make... This is the Temperance is trying to make a, a, a bad situation good. It's a lot of cooperation, a lot of compromising. Like, okay, you know what? Like, let's fix it fix this you know like let's try and see where this goes that's where they're still investing into the situation or it could also be just someone who's just trying to be very very patient with the situation okay they don't want to make impulsive decisions that's why probably the fool in reverse all right that's why the queen of wands in reverse who's not taking action the queen of wands in reverse could be someone who's also the hangman like you know what i need to take time i'm just not going to make an impulsive reckless decision again i see children involved i'm not satisfied i get it but i'm just not going to make a random decision and just walk out Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is the reason why the reading is happening. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse because there is a one-sided investment. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. There is a one-sided situation, but now there's someone here who's not stressing about the situation anymore. It's, you know what I see? I see that there's someone here, they realize that this is, you know, so a one-sided situation, the other person's not investing, they're just not with me in this. But, the, you, but you know, now there is slowly, slowly, this doesn't stress this person out anymore. Virgo, if this is you, it doesn't stress you out anymore. You're having an acceptance of a situation. Maybe you kept on thinking about the situation a lot before. But now it's like, okay, you know what? Never mind. It'll just happen. Let's see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, But you're not stressing about the situation anymore. You're accepting the situation for what it is. And you're sleeping a lot better now. Clap for the Nine of Swords in reverse. Clap for the Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, but there is an ending here something ended there was a chapter that ended okay this is ending the new beginnings the world is completing a chapter successfully okay you could have completed your karmic cycle with this person things have ended with this person and probably you're starting a new chapter i don't know if it's with or without them clarify the world with the world you could be uh you could be living at a distance with this person could be dealing with a taurus virgo leo or scorpio clarify the world what is this world? Clarify for the world. Clarify for the world card, please. What is this ending about? Clarify for the world. Clarify for the world. 
or maybe you know you're not stressing about the situation because it's already ended you know things have ended you you finished your goal you finished reached a milestone with this person and now you're moving very very slowly cautiously and carefully towards this new beginning that you have okay we have the knight of pentacles okay you could be dealing with an earth sign just like yourself um the knight of pentacles is someone who is extremely uh, this is someone extremely slow and cautious okay they're hard working they're loyal they're grounded they're dependable okay but this is someone who's uh very very reliable but they're building something very stable for the future but very very slowly okay this is also someone who's moving extremely slowly and very very cautiously okay towards whatever they want to do okay they're extremely slow in making a move but they're someone who wants to do things right okay and that's why see i told you there's someone here who needs time like I, it's just screams i need time to make the decision okay and i'm not going to rush into anything okay this is someone who will reach their goal because because the pentacle it holds value okay it, it has stability tied to it okay but this is just someone who's this is someone on a horse here but actually this is someone who's moving at snail pace okay it's like if i want to come in i want to correct correct if i want to make a decision i'm going to see to it that the decision is correct and i don't um, regret the decision okay that's why there's so much of inaction and waiting and temperance now i see now i see what it is they're very slow and steady, but they're moving forward cautiously and super, super carefully. Okay, they can be taking forever, but yeah, why not, right? You don't want to rush into a decision. However, in the in the near future, I see someone's going to be single here. I guess someone's finally going to make a decision. Fly for the nine of pentacles. Fly for the nine of pentacles. Yeah, there's someone here who's going to be uh, healing from a breakup, a separation, a divorce. The three of swords in reverse is healing from something painful. Okay. You're you're getting out of any stressful, any pain, heartache, heartache, a heart pain. Fly for the three of swords in reverse, okay? Fly for the three of swords in reverse. Fly for the three of swords in reverse. What is this three of swords in reverse? Yeah. You could have withdrawn. You you'll probably withdraw from this connection. The four of swords is someone who needs time, okay? Who's gathering their thoughts, okay? Who's in a very meditative zone, like someone who's like you know what retreating okay from the situation so probably once you're single or once you've left the situation you're you, you're going to heal from this um uh, uh betrayal or heartache whatever it is and you're going to take time off fly for the four of swords you're going to take time you need a break from a painful situation right fly for the four of swords yeah and probably you're going to be like you know what i'm going to like uh after this break probably there is going to be someone who's going to want to rush in the knight of swords is someone who wants to rush in someone who is very impulsive energy okay like now 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 it's like this is someone the knight of swords probably after a break probably someone realizes the value the someone who's healing from this connection and who's taking a break right after a break there's someone who's going to rush in knight of swords is someone you know who's someone like you know what it's now or never i need to do this now they act without thinking okay they act on impulse like if i don't do it now it's never gonna happen clarify for the knight of swords what does this knight of swords has to say clarify for the knight of swords they will catch the next opportunity available clarify the knight of swords acting on impulse clarify the knight of swords like this can, this is not someone here to stay the knights they come and go right so this is someone who's just going to rush and say something really mean something harsh could be someone very blunt and they'll just leave fly for the knight of swords fly for the knight of swords yeah and then there's going to be a breakup someone's definitely being single someone's definitely leaving a relationship okay they're going to heal from whatever trauma they're going through and there's someone going to there's going to be a period of break and isolation between you two and then probably you or someone or the other person is going to rush in and things are just going to be done for good we have the two of cups in reverse here this is not how i wanted to wanted the reading to end but yeah the two of cups in reverse is a separation a breakup two people not seeing eye to eye it could be a divorce anyway the bottom of the deck you have the leo uh, you have the Leo card, the strength card, okay? Someone's being very, very strong, okay? Someone's being very, very strong and courageous and trying not to walk away from this situation, okay? They're trying very hard. They're trying to hold on, okay? They're trying to hold back from making a decision. They're trying to hold on, okay? This is someone who's trying to tame the situation. Like, no, I can still overcome this obstacle. I can still do it, okay? But 
if it's not meant to be it's just not meant to be Virgo what can I say all right Virgo I hope this uh, reading resonates with you please like share follow subscribe and um, leave